hey guys welcome back to my channel welcome back to another review so today we are going to be reviewing the real housewives of lagos season one episode three if you haven't watched it guys i would love for you guys to go back and watch it because i'm going to be reviewing a few juicy and spicy parts of that episode guys are you ready because i am ready to dive in let's get into it okay where do i start so i'm gonna start um from the from the ending of season no, i'm sorry episode two right you know they got they went to the you know the beach uh the beach house for a re re little rendezvous girls getaway vacation friendcation whatever you may call it and they played a game towards the end of that season and um that game was really spicy um i remember the part that i really got um um, cut me was when i think caroline asked she was like who is not the smartest in the group or who thinks she's the smartest i don't i can't really remember and i think one of the other girls um said i think yabo said laura right and caroline was like mm -hmm, mm -hmm, you know so basically alluding to the fact that laura is not the smartest in the group or laura thinks she's smart but she's not smart but anywho that kind of sets the precedence for this episode three guys so let's let me not waste a lot of time so episode three comes in yabo and laura you know went to the to the spa pedicure money and all that mind you in episode one laura was like you know i and yabo we're not friends she's inviting me for this beach getaway but i don't think i want to go because i and yabo we're not friends there's no point in going to something that you know I'm not going to feel comfortable, you know, and, you know, doing. So, um, episode three comes along. Yabo is kind of salty, you know, as to why Laura did not show up to her beach event. And, you know, Yabo invited Laura to, to the spa and Laura came and they were talking about it. And Laura was like, you know what, Yabo, you know, I, you know, I respect you. I love you. I follow you. I'm a fan. You know, I don't have any issues with you. My issue um, is, is with, the, with the other girls. You know, I have girls like uh, uh, Choma. You know, I'm not really cool with Choma like that. You know, I thought Choma, I thought I and Choma were friends, but she kind of gave me the cold shoulder. Guys, man, I was like, why did, why did, you did cry for friendship. <laughs> Boy, if someone does not, <laughs> if they don't see you as a friend, you know, keep me pushing. What's the, what's the fuss? So Yabo went on to talk about um, the game and, you know, what Caroline said. And, and, and Laura was like, uh, if I were to be there, or if I were there, I would have slapped her. Guys, I was like, have you seen Caroline? Who you think you're going to slap with them hands? No offense. But Yabo was like, ooh, okay. And then, you know, Yabo now. Yebo was jogging with her friend Choma. Yebo spewed the tea. And, and I don't know if you guys are keeping up with the show, but um, Choma and Caroline, they've actually, you know, become close. They are close. They are close now. So, you know, Choma was like, mm -mm, I'm not going to stand for my friend, you know, for you saying that stupid stuff about my friend. If you go and slap my friend, you're going to have to slap me. Or oh, actually, no, she said, if you slap my friend, I'm going to slap you man that's the kind of energy i i need that's the kind of energy that's the kind of energy i'm coming with in 2022 if you slap my friend i'm gonna slap you okay but anywho caroline did this boho chic or boho event invited all the ladies you know and mind you Chama is still having that thought in her like if you slap my friend i'm gonna slap you whatever like let's go let's fight i'm gonna go down and dirty with you so anywho, you know, we went in there. Caroline was chirpy. Laura was nice. Laura hugged Caroline. Caroline was like, oh, girl, you look good. And I'm here. I was like, guys, females, eh? we, are, we are fake. God, we are too fake. Females, we are too fake. Gosh. But anyhow, anyhow or anywho, guys, don't mind my review. <laughs> so um, they sat down. Everybody came in. Yabo came in. Choma came in. Looking really nice. I'm not going to lie. Her white outfit was given was really given uh she looked like she was going for her wedding but <laughs> what am i to speak you can never catch nobody on fresh 
so um tiana came in they all sat down and they were like oh i cost in laura laura why didn't you come for the beach event you know what what's going on why you know why didn't you show up you know you missed you know carolyn was like you know we're waiting for you to come teach us how to dance because you know laura on her instagram she only posts when she's dancing right <laughs> so like carolyn was like oh we're waiting for you to come teach us how to dance you know why didn't you come in or whatever and the conversation i don't just honest with you that conversation escalated so fast i was like where did this come in i think carolyn was like you know i don't have any problems with you or i don't even know how that conversation went but um carolyn said something about her sister right carolyn was like actually not carolyn sorry my bad laura said something about her sister laura was like you know i'm gonna write for my sister linda you know you know, you've said some things about Linda and I've not, I'm not just for it. And that's why I said I was going to slap you. It was a slip of tongue. But, you know, I'm going to write for my sister. I'm obsessed with my sister. Carla was like, hold up, hold up, hold up. I was talking about Linda, the blogger that ruined my marriage. That is one of the reasons why I'm, you know, I'm divorced from my husband. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Wait, wait, let me, let me, let me scooch my shit better. You know, Carla was like, Car- Caroline went all the way off. Okay, she was not playing. And, you know, she talked about her daughter. It wants to chew. Um, I've been car- following Caroline for a while. Um, but I stopped following her over the years. You know, when she was an active actress, I don't even know that's a thing. When she was still acting, you know, I was following her. But I didn't know she was going through this with her daughter. Um, so her daughter has two holes in her heart. And apparently, Linda Ikeji, Linda Ikeji is, a, if you don't know who Linda Ikeji is, she's a popular blogger. She's one of the richest bloggers in Nigeria. And Carla was basically saying that, you know, ever since she got married to her billionaire husband, Linda was on her butt, literally, like posting stuff about her, um, that she got married for money. She 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 lied about Caroline's age. She said Caroline's daughter um, was not for the father, that Caroline gave birth to another man's kid. You know, she was just go- going on and on about all the things that Linda has said about her over the years. And Laura was just there saying, you know, it's my sister. I'm going to write for my sister. I'm going to write for my sister. And Carla was like, this girl doesn't even have any sympathy. This girl doesn't even have any iota of, 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 of empathy in her. You know, I'm talking about my child. And Laura was like, you know, look, yeah, I have a kid. I'm obsessed with kids. And I can understand, so I'm going to apologize. But Carla was yelling and yabba came in yabba was like hmm like your sister shao like your sister because it seemed like yabba had a lot of things to say about linda ekeji guys you know how it is with bloggers now anything that is trendy they want to post right anything that is trending they want to post they don't care about how it affects this person they don't care about how it, how it affects the next person and yabba was like hmm this linda if we if we want to start to talk about linda if we want to start to talk about linda we will not live here you know, so you know, Yeba was not referencing uh, Tiana. Like, you remember when I was telling you about Linda? I remember when I was telling you about Linda? In my head, I was like, ha, this thing is juicy, you. I think Linda would have been a part of this, this show. I think it would have been more juicy. I'm telling you, because every episode, I feel like every episode would have been fire for fire. Because it seems like, you know, it seems like the, 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 the ladies had a lot of things to say about Linda. And I can understand that. You know, Caroline was just really upset. And I can understand, you know, as a mom you know hearing things in the blocks about your child that are not true come on like anybody would be fired up like you want to fight for your child you know so i can understand where caroline is coming from um but at the same time laura laura you know at the end of the, the episode laura apologized to to caroline but caroline kind of seen you know, she took it last like, see if it wasn't genuine which i could understand i mean we, we just had this big blowout and then you're apologizing to me talking about this and that i mean come on you, you never know people's true intentions right so caroline did not really take it you know caroline was like mm, mm, just like if you even see the way caroline was looking at her I just know that you're looking at her really weird um but to be honest with you you know, <sighs> You know, people, people, people can't differentiate between making money and just having, like, compassion for people. You know, when it comes to making money, you just want to do, 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 do. You don't care who you hit on the way. You don't care who you hurt on the way. You just, you know, do what you got to do. And you can, you can tell from the hurt, you know, when Caroline was speaking, you can tell that that, that, that thing really, you know, it cuts deep. It really, really cut deep. And, and I can, I can, I can, I can, you know, I feel for her. I feel, I feel for her. And to be honest with you guys, ha. Uh, had, Laura at the end, she said that she was going to talk to Linda, but what are you going to talk to your sister for? Like, <laughs> and Laura was saying that uh, Linda doesn't write her stuff personally, and Caroline was like, 
but she has the power to pull it down and carla was basically saying that she reached out to linda she tried to talk to linda you know but you know there was no response you know and laura was trying to you know side with her sister talking about you know she didn't write she doesn't write her stuff she doesn't write the you know the story she doesn't write it but are you going to tell me that you are the ceo of this blog you have your assistant writing and posting without your knowledge, without your say so, without your go ahead, without your approval, without your stamp of approval to post. Girl, let's not cap. Let us not cap here, please. Mm-hmm. Make we know they lie. Stop trying to support your sister. You know your sister did something wrong. Just own it. Keep it pushing. You know, I would have just said that, look, you know, I had nothing to do with that situation. And I apologize if that hurts you. You know, that's not my place. That's not my business. You know, I have not, no, like, I mean, she would have just, just said, you know, because Laura said it. Laura said that she, she didn't even know about this fight. She didn't know about this whole thing with Caroline. And she would have just said that, look, Caroline, I'm sorry. I apologize. You know, I had, you know, no idea. And this is not something that I even have knowledge on. You know, instead of saying, trying to cover for the system, trying to, trying to, I mean, look, I'm a ride or die for my family. You don't get me wrong, but wrong is wrong and right is right. You know, you know, Laura would have just been like, I um, apologize. Just keep it pushing instead of, you know, trying to, you know, defend and say, oh, my sister doesn't even write the, she doesn't even write. What does she write? Is she not the CEO? Please. If you want to cap, no, you know when you're capping. You know, if you want to cap, no when you're capping. Anyways, at the end of that episode, they kind of, you know, uh, Laura apologized, but the next episode coming, episode four, it seems like Laura and Chioma they had their own get to the get down, which is a uh, <laughs> spicy. I feel like this has been a brewing for the past two, three episodes now, and episode four is gonna really show us, you know, what really happened because you know, Iapo. I don't know if you guys remember Iapo saying that there's something deeper. Something deeper went down between Laura and Chioma, which I think is actually true. Uh, we are going to we are going to actually see what happened in episode four because I'm very curious to find out why you would think someone is your friend, but they don't see you as their friend. Mind you, Chioma said that uh, Chioma said that Laura brought business for her. Laura brought her friends to buy hair. Laura, you know, came to her restaurant, and it was like a client business type relationship right they were not friends they did not hang out outside of business you know outside you know outside of what what you know laura and her were doing which in choma's head this is a business type relationship uh, whilst uh, laura was thinking okay i'm bringing business to you i'm bringing i'm bringing clients to you maybe we are friends or not or maybe we guys like first of all you never catch me calling someone my friend that is not my friend <laughs> And that's why I think Laura is very salty because she saw Choma as her friend and Choma did not see her as her friend. Come on, guys. We all, we, 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 we've, we have been, we have all been through this. We, who, who hasn't called someone their friend that did not see them as their friend? Who never effed up hands in the air? Because this is the life of every, a lot of females out here. Don't, don't get me wrong. It can't be salty. You can't feel salty. You can't feel some type of way. Don't get me wrong. It's going gonna, gonna to hurt. But you will move on. Dust it up and move on. Don't be salty. You're not in kindergarten or in high school. But I understand. Let's see. I don't know if you guys are excited for episode four. I am pretty excited for episode four. I want to see Choma and Laura's, you know, get to the get down. Let's see what really happened between those two. Really. Really. What really happened. But anyways, guys, this is the end of my recap, my review of The Real Housewives of Lagos, season one, episode three. I'm really excited that you guys reached this end part, this last part that I'm going about to go. Thank you very, very much for watching me ramble and talk. But thank you, guys. I am going to be reviewing, hopefully, episode four when it airs next week tune in if you haven't subscribed please subscribe let me know what you think in the comment section let me know what you think about um laura's and um caroline's fights you know who was at fault you know what 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 did you think about that whole showdown all right and and tell me your anticipation for episode four in the comment section below thank you so much for tuning in please like subscribe and like i said comment thank you guys and i will see you in the next episode or i will see you next time Whichever one comes first. <laughs> Bye.